हरिओ गुरुदेव स्वामी जी शिवाजी महाराज एज गिवन एस एन आउटलाइन ऑफ द पर्पज फॉर विच वी आर सेलिब्रेटिंग दिस गणेश चतुर्थी we also were blessed with an opportunity to offer our worship to his form he also prompted us to make us realize that he is ever seated in our heart for the sake of sake of giving us the joy he makes us to visit such places where his form is also represented and in our case in this holy ashram in this shrine where the image is there and at this particular moment as spiritual sadhakas as devotees we can also try to bring a few more dimensions along with it when we were closely hearing gurudev's words of wisdom on lord ganesha he mentioned that he is he is the protector of the muladhara <laughs> muladhara the base you know the origin the supporter of every one of us it is seated in the that is the first chakra they say and from there we keep on going up and up as we spiritually progress spiritually progress means identification with the spirit within we have also a, a sense of individuality which has been projecting outside as a sense of as an individual now on these occasions we are reminded that he is there with us always and how does he express a beautiful word we happen to read somewhere there are two types of egos in us one is called the present ego the sense of individuality we have got a name form a notion about ourselves an image about ourselves our prior preferences priorities our rights and wrongs our likes and dislikes our preconceived notions our attachment towards our name form power possessions positions all these put together is called the sense ego there there is one another ego this ego the first ego does not remember or recognize the indwelling reality the second ego always remembers the power from which it draws its existence now the words are coming there could be two interpretations i am talking the other interpretation is i am made to talk so this this functional ego you know it is there is a, there should be a sense of, sense of individuality to express these words which is what is called a functional ego the functional ego always remembers that it is discharging the duties assigned to him by the indwelling reality so lord ganesha represents this functional ego fully always aware of the indwelling reality so when we celebrate vinayaka chaturthi he is slowly reminding us don't think that i am here only for the vinayaka chaturthi day i am ever with you and i am functioning as an individual but it is a functional individual because we need a, 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 an equipment a, an instrument or a vehicle to express that is why god has given us this body mind intellect equipment and a sense of individuality as given but unfortunately for reasons known to him he made us not to realize this and we started from our life from the me and mine we never knew that it is because of him that the me and mine exists so due to when when they are at the appropriate time when he when we are drawn by a spiritual preceptor guru we become aware intellectually first that he is there within us and he has also given us this sense of individuality to function 
That is why later on Mahatma declared, who have scaled the heights, that whatever is happening is happening only by his will. And whatever is happening is happening only for our ultimate good. In other plain words, you know, the Lord who is seated within us is getting things done through his creation, the me, the, the sense of individuality. So he gets his will done through me. Not that I am doing. So the sense of doership, the sense of enjoyership, the sense of personal ownership, all these things will slowly go away from us. So, Lord Ganesha is in charge of this particular role. So, when we remember him, we are touched and kindled of the salient aspect. I am not an individual by myself. I am only a functional individual. Functioning because of the will ordered by the indwelling reality Parameshwara. So Parameshwara, you know, Chidananda Rubam Shivoham Shivoham. Lord Shiva is, is considered to be the consciousness absolute. He is the indwelling reality in us. He has no name and form. He has no functions. He, his very presence makes everybody alert, enlivening, active, pulsating, all those things come. So we are not aware of him. We start from the sense of individuality. So the functional ego aspect is touched and kindled by Lord Ganesha. And we are reminded now, at least for this moment, that we are drawing the needed strength and courage to exist as an individual from the Lord Parameshwara within. So every day when we start anything, we start with this prayer. That is why Lord Ganesha is worshipped at the start of everything. Because he is called the remover of all huddles. Vigna Ishwara. Vigna means a yeah, huddle. He removes everything because, how does he remove it? He removes it because the sense of ownership, which we assumed as ourselves, we realize, recognize that it is he who is making me to do this. He, it is he who is making me uh -huh. to talk. It is he who is making me to think. So the moment the ownership is transferred, the onus is transferred, the responsibility is transferred to him, the real owner, I am free from all hurdles. Because everything is quite secure. No? The Lord is functioning through this equipment which he has given. He makes me to go through ups and downs. At that time I may feel because I have identified myself with this sense of individuality, projected individuality, the ego in us. So naturally we are subjected to go through various types of anguish, uncertainty, stressful period. At this time we try to recognize. When we pray to Lord Ganesha with this bhavana, we try to realize, yes, you made me to feel as an individual. You made me to forget that I owe everything to you. I forgot that you are my mula, you are my origin. Now I slowly start, first intellectually realizing that since you have caused my birth, you have got a purpose through my life, which I did not know. I thought of planning. You made me to execute that plan. You made me to succeed at times. You made me to fail at times for reasons known to you. But the moment I come to know that it is your wish, your will, then I am free from everything. So this sort of uh, attitude of bringing Lord Ganesha uh, in our daily activities, early morning when we do that, Gajananam, Buddha, Ganadi, Sevitam, Kavitajam, Bhu, Parasara, Vakshitam, Umasutam, Shoka Vinashakaranam, Shoka Vinashakaranam. No? Shoka means sorrow. Vinasha means to destroy. To destroy all my shogas, all my 
restlessness, all my uncertainty, all my insecurity, you know. Namami Vigneshwara Padapangatam. So I start my life with this, with this invocation. Along with that, if you can also bring it to the other dimension, the prayer becomes full and complete. And when we transact with the world outside with this bhavana, at the family level, professional level, social level, every now and then when we forget, we may get stressed. Immediately we try to bring in these words. I have entrusted to you, you know. But you made me again possess this and made me to feel trusted. Please, take this load off. Like that we try, we try, we try, so that ultimately we have been promised to that, we will be able to live a peaceful, <laughs> successful, <laughs> prosperous, blissful life. <coughs> we are deeply grateful to the Lord for having given this opportunity to remember Him intensely and to connect with Him in our day-to-day -day life. For that we need some functions to remind, you know, that is why our elders have earmarked certain days, invoking the blessings of the indwelling reality in various forms. Because we, we have a form. We enjoy serving a form. Abstract to abstract, you know, there won't be any joy. So tangible to the tangible, yes. It, though it is intangible, we give a name and form and then we try to enjoy this and so that we get connected again to the intangible form. So let this we are deeply grateful for having been given this wonderful opportunity to touch and kindle these deep thoughts. And we pray to you, strengthen our devotion. So far we have been thinking that we are the, we start our life from the me and mine. Enable us to start the life from you who has given us this origin who has given us this human birth and slowly make us realize why you have given this. Why you are making me to go through varied experiences. So, with this prayer, we prostrate mentally and touch His holy feet and seek His blessings. Hariyo, Om Shri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram. Oh, Shira, Yera, Yera, Oh, Shira.